An iconic building in downtown Muskegon is now in the hands of a local nonprofit. And today, the signs at the Hackley Administration Building were replaced with new ones. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills has more now on the building's transition from property of the Muskegon School District to Reset Ventures. That transition started in May when the nonprofit Reset Ventures offered to buy this historic building for $1. The Muskegon Public School Board approved the sale after learning that Reset Ventures' vision for this building met the school board's two biggest goals. This big old building has been a hub of community energy for as long as Mayor Stephen Gowran can remember. Such an icon, a landmark, and a part of our heart and our soul. It's housed a number of education programs since the late 1800s. It was the first home of Muskegon Community College. But in recent years, the big old building was way too large for the Muskegon Public Schools small administrative staff. There comes a point where it's the right thing to do. Superintendent Matthew Cortez says that right thing to do was to move district staff out of the Hackley administration building. About this time last year. Then an offer from a local nonprofit, one that met the school board's wishes. One was to preserve the building and the other was to open it up for public access and those two wishes will be met. The $1 title transfer to Reset Ventures soon followed. Our district is not in the position to restore historical buildings as hard as that is to face. Future uses here could include office and retail space. We will have food service in it, that's for sure and we will have some form of historical walk. The city partnering with Reset Ventures to make improvements to the grounds. We're calling the grounds Hackley Square. We haven't named the building yet. Muskegon also now tasked with maintaining the William McKinley Memorial historic clock and bells. The uh, bell chime has always been music to my ears. We will do the right thing with the building uh, to sustain it uh, and keep it around for at least another 100 years. Reset Ventures Executive Director Brad Playford says the building has immediate structural needs. Those could cost between five and six million dollars to resolve. And work will soon begin on the exterior of the currently unnamed building. Repairs to the stonework alone are expected to cost more than one million dollars. In Muskegon, John Mills, 13 on your side.